Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last, aka Skylar Madison, and today we are going to uh, do a little bit of recording, and uh, it's going to be kind of cool here. Now, first of all, I actually spent about $25 to get my hands on a sheet of metal here, okay? And I'll, I'll go ahead and show it to you right now. It's it's just a sheet of metal, okay? 25 bucks. It costs 25 bucks to get my hands on that. It's you can buy it at any hardware store. You could probably buy it at Home Depot. Now, it's really hot. I live in a desert, but I'm going to turn off the air conditioning where I live so that we can actually uh, record audio without any sort of background noises and without having to uh, <clears throat> do an extensive amount of uh, like remastering the audio before we remaster it. So let me go ahead and just put this phone on a tripod really quick here. Actually, let me clip it into place and let, let me make sure that you guys can actually see the actual workflow that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to be recording video and recording audio on Audacity. All right, so I'm all set up. I'm gonna put on my headphones so that I can actually hear a little bit of what the computer hears. And uh, let's get to it, okay? Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start recording uh, the sound of this right here. We're using my blue snowball microphone in order to record this. Now, I would like to have something called the Zoom H6, which is a 4 through 6 uh, track recording like piece of mobile equipment. And it has XLR plugs that plug into it. So it's really high quality. And so I could buy a normal uh, shotgun mic and go out into the wild and record something like thunder in a thunderstorm or something. That sounds cool to me. It's something that I've had on my mind ever since I first started my channel. However, the problem with that idea is that it's really expensive. Like, the Zoom H6 is something like $350, and then a, you know, a shotgun mic can run up towards 65 to more money. $65 to, to more. It's expensive, and it's pretty difficult to know which shotgun mic to buy because so many of them don't seem like they're meant for any other device than a specific type of DSLR. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and start recording the sound of thunder. Now if you guys hear uh, moments of silence, it's not that I'm trying to space things out so that this video exceeds past 10 minutes or anything like that. The goal is that, you know, I can isolate different sounds. And I'm I'm cu I'm giving you guys a, a little bit of a privilege here to hear the raw sound of this. Now, it may not sound like thunder at least with the raw recording, but even with something like Audacity, you could change the pitch of what it sounds like. You can remaster it. So, with no further ado, let's get into this. Okay, that topped out, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like, mess with the gain. Things sound a little bit more quiet, and I need to talk a little bit louder in order for you to hear me. But all of the noise is still being recorded. So the quality of the sound is still being recorded. That looks like it, that looks like it almost topped out.
some of that topped out. Okay, I raised the gain up a bit. topped out. Topped out, that was from a distance. Topped out once again. It's bad when it tops out. Let me turn down the gain. Okay, I'm gonna really turn down turn down the gain or turn it up. I don't know the term, <coughs> so I can make some really loud noises right next to the mic. Wow, really? Topped out. Okay. I think that uh, about does it. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot of different sounds there, uh, a lot of different types of variety. The more variety, the better, so that I have my pick, and I can pick and choose which of these sounds that I can, that I want. In order for me to kind of remaster this, I can use all these different types of tracks, and and uh, you'll see what I'll do. It's cool. Okay. So I forgot to record what I was doing, like the screen capture. So I recorded the Audacity stuff, but you guys can actually see. You know, I did all that in Audacity. I just recorded all of it with audacity and uh, it's i'm done recording the audio for it it's starting to get pretty hot in here so i'm gonna start uh, turning on my air conditioning uh because no need for me to suffer uh right on so yeah that's that now let's get into remastering this sucker 
so stay tuned for next week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world to see some guy banging on a piece of metal for a series of minutes, but, you know, once you actually see what I've done with it, I think uh, you guys are going to like it. Of course, as I'm... S <laughs> I might eat my words later on because I still have yet to remaster it. But I think everything's going to work out fine, guys. I, I, I got some good sounds here. And, you know, this couldn't uh, come at a better time. I had somebody recently request me uh, giving tutorials on how to work with sound inside of Audacity. So, yeah, okay. I don't know everything about Audacity, but I'll... I'll share what, a little bit of what I know, okay? Because, like, some of the different voices that I do... People seem to like them! And, uh, they like to hear little reverberations and stuff like that, or... Uh, some high-pitched character! And how can I make my character sound like that? I mean, it's not, like, the most amazing thing in the world, really. I mean, it's just the default crap that comes with the audacity. And that's kind of the great thing about it, because it takes very little effort to make little cartoon sounds like this. Anyway! Anyways, guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys uh, would like to see more notifications from me, feel free to click on the bell. And if you'd like to see more content from me, feel free to click on anything appearing on the screen right now. Thank you very much for your time.